Hi guys, this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 24th of May. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Art of Life Tarot for this reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of today and what you'll be working with. So first of all, we have the sun, and that's a beautiful painting. I love that. Banks of the Loire by Joseph Turner. Precisely the least, the softest, lightest, a lizard's rustling, a breath, a flash, a moment. A little makes the way of the best happiness by Friedrich Nietzsche. Okay, so the sun is, I, the sun came up recently in another reading. And it's really at the end of the major arcana. It's the 19th card of the major arcana. And it's when you have self-actualized and when you have embraced your own identity and you've become the person you've always wanted to be. So let's say you're gay and um, you're in the closet and you're 30 and you're around family and things like that. And you're celebrating Christmas and um, you feel so incredibly lonely because you're all around all these loved ones and family members, but there's this unseen wall between you and everyone else because there's a major part of your identity that you're keeping hidden from other people. And other people will sense that and pick up on that, that there's something that says the door is kind of closed here. And that in turn will, will encourage other people not to share things with you. It's what you put out there, you get back. And, you know, the uncomfortable, just to go with that example of coming out and being gay and being in the closet and all that, like your, if your father or your, or your uncle or someone, you're standing around and um, he nudges you and he says, oh, she's pretty, isn't she? And you have to go, uh, yeah, you know, you have to kind of pretend to be something that you're not, that it can feel so awful to be in your own skin and then when you do come out and you let go of that it is such a huge weight off your shoulders you stop you, you your you take it or leave it and the implied kind of effect of that is that you don't care about the approval of other people so much it's nice if your parents accept you and say it's great but ultimately coming out is a process of saying you know like it or not this is who i am and this is what I'm about, and whether you approve or not, I have to speak my truth and stand in my own power. It's a difficult process, but when you're free of it, it's amazing. And then, this is what I understand this quote to mean, is when you are really free and you've self-actualized in a way, then the very littlest things in life can give you joy and pleasure. If you If you're at peace and squared off with the world and you don't have to look over your shoulder and everything is right as it should be then you can take a walk in nature and if if a, a lizard rustles or you see a salamander then it's a joyous event because it's the little it's those little things in life that make things special and we miss them when we're preoccupied with our own minds or our own kind of conflicts and I agree with this quote. It's really the little things in life that can give us the most peace because of what is unsaid, because you have to be in a good place to be able to even notice them. Then we have The Hanged Man, Two Acrobats by Ernst Kirchner. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be, Lao Tzu. So identity, we've just discovered an identity and we're happy in it and now we're saying when i let go of what i am i become what i might be so when you totally surrender yourself and you accept yourself then you open things up to someone else to a higher power to the universe to work with you to work through you and to turn you into the person that you've always been meant to be you've come into this lifetime to live a certain purpose you're not here to just get a car every new three years uh you're not here to just pay bills you're here for a spiritual reason 
So here, first of all, we've got a card saying that today you're really in touch with your own identity and that you're at peace and you can take pleasure in the quiet things in life. If you have a spiritual practice and if you have a connection with nature or the universe or God, the creator or your higher self, whatever you want to call it, if you believe in yourself, if that's your higher power, then that's what your higher power is and that's what that's what God is for you. It's so important to get the point across that it's a God of your understanding, not a religious God. So when you accept yourself and you're no longer a problem, you get out of your own way, you've, accept, you've embraced yourself and let yourself go. In a way, it's like, I know who I am, I embrace it, and I don't need to pick at it anymore. So I can let go of the constant trying to perfect myself and the constant trying to criticize myself. Then you make space for a higher voice that you can listen to and you flourish and blossom like a rose and you become what you may be. Finally, we've got the world and we've got the proportions of the human figure by Leonardo da Vinci. All that Adam had or that Caesar could, you have and can do. Build, therefore, your world. Ralph Waldo Emerson. It's an amazing reading today. I mean, we've got three major arcana cards, so it's a big, big day in terms of the energy. The energy comes in loud and thick and fast and strong. And what I've talked about here is you in connection with the universe is exactly that. Everything that Adam had, everything that Caesar could do, everything that the Buddha could do, everything that Gandhi could do, you can do as well because we are all connected. We're a part of a greater whole. And that greater whole can only be accessed through spiritual connection. So when you're meditating, you're in a community with all the other people who are meditating across the globe at the same time. And it's a wonderful thing to feel a part of a community like that. If, you want, if you're a visual person like me and you want a visual representation, there's an app that I use. I don't know if it's paid for or not. So I don't want to um, really advertise it if you have to pay for it. Um, I use it. Though. I've had it for years and years and years. It's called... Ugh, I, can't, I don't even know the name. It's... Um, it's just a it's just a meditation app and you can put the time in and it rings a bell and afterwards you can see who you meditated with and um where in the world they've meditated and it's a really nice visual way of seeing um who else you're connected to but more than that you're connected to everyone even the people who aren't meditating at all times because we all come from the same creator we all come from the same source so anything that Adam knew, you know. Anything that Caesar knew, you know. If you tune in that to that collective unconscious or the Akashic records, that realm where all human knowledge and the spirit of humanity is held, and we can all go there by meditating and just... It's not like you're walking through a library, but if you connect with a higher power through meditation and you have a question or you want to um, ask what it is, what am I meant to build? What is my life purpose? What am I supposed to do here? Then you'll get the answer. It's, you know, the right book is handed to you. You're given the tools. So you'll get a message saying, sign up for this certain course or uh, become a hypnotherapist or um, go travel and move to a different country. You start getting, you make space for the life that you're meant to live to come in despite yourself. Because we often are our own worst enemies in standing in our own ways of, our, of becoming happy. So um, this is really, I mean, it couldn't be a better combination because you, you're comfortable within yourself to the extent that you're willing to let go. And if you're still kind of trying to figure yourself out, you're going to have your claws in yourself, literally. So you're so certain of yourself, you're able to let go of um, your own hang ups and just connect with the universe and 
the greater knowledge, tap into some greater knowledge. And that is going to really, really empower you. And you're going to be able to build something concrete in your own world. So you'll have new experiences, you'll have ideas that will lead you to new experiences. And it's the completion that allows for new beginning. So it's this end cycle that if you look at this as the energy for the day, all of these cards could kind of blend into each other and become a closed circle. And because all of that is done with, you get a number one here then saying, okay, let's go and let's do it. Because everything is in place. It's like you've got every preparation sorted out so that you can actually do what you need to do in life. So the um, numbers aren't on here. So I'm consulting the, um, I've got 19 for the sun, the world is 21. So uh, that's 30, 40, and the hang man is 12, so that's 52. 5 and 2 is 7, and 7 is mind and creativity. So think about who you are, what it is you want to create in connection with your higher power, and you can have a creative practical outlet and actually build what it is you want in a really serious, long lasting way that's going to enrich your life. So I hope you have a wonderful day here. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. I use the tarot astrology and numerology in my readings. The tarot allows me to look at what's coming up in future and where you are now. The astrology gives me a more in-depth blueprint of your soul. It shows me why you've come into this lifetime and what your purpose is, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your vocational aptitudes are, and whether your job is the same as your life purpose. Sometimes they can be separate. What's destined for you in love and health and living situation, money, relationships, career, also what's coming up in all those areas. So if you have any questions for me, I can answer those for you by using these divination systems. And I'm an intuitive astrologer and tarot readings reader. So I don't just look at the meanings of the cards. I look at the cards and the astrology and that opens my intuition. And that's where I feel I can connect to the collective unconscious, the Akashic records where we're all connected and where we all know what sees in you. And that's where I feel I get my messages from that then I can deliver to you. So gregoryscott.com to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.